Let's take a look at using appointment slots with Zoom links to let people schedule times with you, maybe for office hours, and each of those will have their own Zoom link. First, we'll pick the calendar we want to add them to and make sure that is on. And then we can drag and select the place we want to have an appointment slot for. So let's say Thursday morning from 9 to 12, I want to have um, bookable appointment slots. I'll click and drag so that I select that section that I want. And then I'm going to not make an event, but I want an appointment slot. I'm going to add a title, office hours. And I'm going to choose the duration. Uh, I want to have slots during this time of 30 minutes each. You can change this if you want to make it 15 minute slots. The other thing you can do is you can say this is a single slot. So maybe if you want to select 30 minutes here, 30 minutes there, 30 minutes there, you can create a bunch of individual single slots. But I'm going to choose slots with duration of 30 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and click on more options for now so you can see more information here. Um, what I like to do in location is say online, zoom, and say link added later. Oh, if I spell link right. And I won't add any zoom information right now because I want each appointment slot, each person's appointment to have a different link. So I won't add it now. And then in the description, I will write down fill in your question here. Maybe if I want to know a little bit about what they want to talk about ahead of time, I can ask them to put it in there. At this, it's just going to be me and whoever scheduled me, so I won't add any guests. But if there's someone else who needs to be in all of those office hours, you could add them as a guest to the main event, this office hour here. I'm not doing that in this case, though. I'll go ahead and click on Save. And once I've done that, when I click on this event again, I will see here it says, Go to Appointment Page for this calendar. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up in a new window. And this URL, the web address of this calendar is what I want to share with people. So I'll click on that, make sure it's all highlighted, and I'll click on copy. So I could say use this link to schedule time with me. And the prerequisite for this link is they need to have a Google account to be able to sign up with you. But you could send that out and then people would get this option here. Now on this page, you're going to see I'm signed in with my Stony Brook account. So this page shows an overlay of my calendar plus these buttons for the office hours event that I just made. So when you share this with someone, they'll sign into their Google account and then they can click on one of these buttons and it will fill in their name automatically and the information I populated. They can add in their question, where you asked it, and then click on save. Once they click on save, they've booked that event and you'll see that that button is gone. If I go to my email as the, the creator of these events, I'll get an email notification uh, that I have an appointment slot booked. And if I go back to my calendar, I'll also see that in addition to the one longer office hours, the overall office hours option with this little kind of window pane, that means it's appointment slots, I have this one smaller item here that is the specific appointment for the person who scheduled with me. And again, that person's name is going to show here and they'll be invited as a guest automatically. I scheduled for myself, so I just see my own name there. Now, once someone schedules for me and I get that email notification, or I can just kind of take a look at my calendar and see if I see any of these little events lined up with my office hours or my appointment slots, I can click on it, go into edit the event, and then I can add my Zoom meeting to this specific event and my guest will get the information once I save this of the Zoom link so they know how to meet with me. And I can get rid of the link added later note here because I've added that link, save it, and that's one of the ways you can set up office hours so that you can make individual Zoom links for each of them.